Alrighty, man. What is going on, everybody? And welcome back to another episode of the Forza 6 Apex. Little mini let's play, as you guys would uh, so to say. I guess you could call this kind of like a little let's play because, uh, you know, we're playing it, you know, in order like uh, like a let's play. So, yeah, man. But today we're going to continue on with the rest of the tours. Now, I think I'm going to probably do like two tours. We'll probably do the Super Street Heroes and then we'll probably do the exclusive performance. We'll do both of those in this episode. And then I did remember or at least I just remembered about these right here. Where new and exciting race events are released on a regular basis. Each event is a chance to further explore the cars and tracks you own while earning medals, developing your skills, okay. and progressing your career. Alright, I don't care. Check back oh my god. To see what new events are waiting. Oh, so this is something that changes often. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. I like this. This is actually pretty good. Uh, win by 300 meters and all this. Uh, I kind of want to try this out right quick. And then we have this one. Not of the V12. Let's, let's, let's try this super rare out. Oh, it's locked. Never mind. God damn it. <laughs> I thought we was going to be able to do it. <laughs> Hell no, nah, we ain't going to be able to do it, man. All right, so this is a drift event. I'm going to slide on the drift event for right now because I don't know if how you love drifting cars, is this in this is game. I'm going to skip this. Uh, but it looks like all we have is a Golf R. That's the only thing we're going to be able to drive. There's, like, these microtransactions here that send unlock early. I think they only, they only, it's like, it only, what? Yeah, I see 99 cents. It costs a dollar. I, I would do it because I do have, like, a couple dollars in my PayPal right now. But it, it's kind of pointless if I'm going to be doing the Let's Play on this game. I might as well just play regularly and, you know, do it, do it the way it should be done. So let's go ahead and take this Golf R, which is the only car that we can, uh, Pick. I'm gonna just pick a regular color because uh, the colors it had us picking from was uh, not fine. Well, this green don't look too bad. I ain't even gonna lie to you. I'm gonna go. Oh, yo, I did not mean to go with that black. I wanted to go with the green. I just got cheesed, yo. I just got cheesed. Look at that, man. Let me go back. Oh, we can go back? That, bruh. That's how you know they made this game specifically so that you didn't have to buy cars and stuff that you just chose to drive a car I, I think that's one thing about this game that I don't really like about Forza 6 being on PC I wish they would have did it the way Forza 6 was on takes place in the rain console the hatch. Racing on a wet track poses several challenges. Oh shit. Tires lose grip more easily during yeah, yeah. cornering Braking distances are longer and deep puddles accumulate causing a risk of hydroplane Yep Everything he just said will most likely happen in this episode. <laughs> man, rain racing on the for on the motorsports, man, is so difficult. Like it's worse than the horizons. And I am complete trash at rain racing. So I hope this goes well. We're gonna see how good this goes. Cause I, I don't know, man. Forza motorsport is a realistic simulation that features several assists. Did, why, why, is it, bro, why is he telling me this? In the assist menu, you can adjust these settings to experience. I can't even. I can't even click. Or to achieve certain bonus objectives. There we go. Set assisted steering off. I don't have assisted steering on anyway. Who plays with that? Who plays with assisted steering? Automatic manual. I could go to manual transmission. Manual clutch. I'm gonna keep the automatic though. I'm gonna keep the auto. You see tune setup? Oh, we can tune the car a little bit. Oh, say no more. I think it's a front wheel drive car though. If I'm not mistaken. I think it is front wheel drive. I'm gonna drive the tire pressure all around though. See what we can do with that. Oh, we can't touch that stuff. Okay. What about this? No, nope, can't touch that either. Alright. Yep, all this stuff is locked. Can't touch none of this. Okay. Alright. Oh, it says, yeah, tunable. It, it tells me the tunable stuff. Ain't no tunable. There's really nothing tunable because this car is, like, completely stopped besides the tire pressure. Because all you're doing is taking air out and putting air in. So, um, you know, makes sense. Makes sense. Uh, and if you guys don't know, man, uh, iOS 11 uh, just came out. And I'm actually installing it right now. So you, by the time you guys see this video, it'll, it'll already be out for like, it'll most likely have been out for a couple of days. But I'm verifying and installing iOS 11 right now, man. Uh, my boy Jet actually already has it. And he told me that it's pretty lit. So I'm about to see what it's talking about. I'm about to see what it's talking about. Oh yeah, it's front-wheel drive. I felt that pull. I mean, it is a Volkswagen though. 
See, man, this, this slower rain racing, I need y'all to get out of my way. This slower rain racing is really like the only type of rain racing that I can really do. Because it, it's like, it's enough for me to handle the car. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Yep, see, mm -hmm. yep, yep, yep. This is why I don't do rain racing. Because if you hit them brakes a little too late, it's over with. Yeah, they rewinded us all the way back. Sheesh. See, and then if you hit the brakes too soon, it, oh my God, dude, it, it's like, it's, it's like, it's so weird, bro. It's so weird. Oh man, I couldn't even like pull and try and get back in. All right, I need this dude to get out of my way. I'm going balls deep, I'm going hard. We can do it. Oh, my FPS has dropped down to the forties? What the hell? I forgot I had the FPS counter up there. I was sitting up here wondering what my FPS was and the FPS counter is up there. I can see my FPS. Oh boy. There we go. There we go. I held it. I held it. That could have been a lot worse. All right, how many laps we got on this? Five. We got five laps? Oh my God, dude. We're about to be on this forever. We're about to be on this forever. Well, we're on the second lap already. Take the inside. There we go. Take the inside lane on them. Oh boy! Yeah, I knew that was gonna be bad like that. Good turns. I need another good turn, and then I got first place. So I guess I gotta finish him first. Yeah, I guess I gotta finish him first. I don't even know. There go. We just got the last good turn. We got some damage on the front, man. Not too bad, man. Not too bad. This could be a lot worse, man. This, this Volkswagen ain't too bad either. This Golf R isn't really too bad. And then that's kind of crazy because they did take, didn't they take Volkswagen out of uh, Forza 7? Or was that Toyota? I think it was Toyota. I think they still got Volkswagen. I think it was, yeah, it was Toyota. I don't even really, you know, I ain't even gonna lie to you guys. I don't, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Nope, yep, we're rewinding that. I ain't gonna lie to you guys, man. I don't really mind them taking Toyota out of the game because the only Toyota that people really used a lot was the Supra and the BRZ. Oh, wait, no, that's that's a Supra. Hold up. The uh, Toyota GT86. There we go. I said <laughs> I said the BRZ. Like, what? The BRZ's a Supi, Nukem. What are you talking about? All right, but yeah, man, uh, that, that's really all people use from Toyota, it seems like. I know there's some other Toyotas that people use, I think. Like the older ones and stuff, man. I, I, I don't care for none of them. I ain't even gonna lie to you. I don't care for no single, not a single Toyota. I care for man. They're they're all they're all pretty boo boo to me. Cause when you think about it, they all need a thousand dollars worth. They all need thousands of dollars worth of power. I almost said a thousand dollars worth of power. They all need thousands of dollars worth of, uh, you know, parts and stuff to even be able to, you know, be as powerful as a lot of people want them to be. You gotta put a lot of money into them. So it's like, well, what? That that's not even like. You know, I don't care about that. They're, they're slow off rip. Give me a Charger or something. I'll take a Charger or, or or a Camaro or something before I take a Toyota any day. Oh, boy. I got to leave this right thumbstick alone. This right thumbstick. I'll be, like, switching my camera angle slick sometimes. All right, here we go, man. Let me make sure I can take these turns. Are we hitting water puddles? Pulling straight out of there. Okay, all right. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, there we go. We still got first place. I still want to try and get this first place finished. We're only on the fourth lap, though. So we still got a whole another lap to do. Which isn't too bad, though. We still got a whole another lap. But you know, could be a lot worse. Could be a lot worse. Like, we could be in dead last right now with a whole another lap to go. But we ain't in there last, man. We good to go. We good to go. We just got to keep on going, man. We'll be able to finish up. I need to get some more. I may record another Forza Horizon 3 video today. I want to record another GTA 5 video because I actually don't even have that many GTA 5 videos recorded right now. I have everything, almost everything else recorded except GTA 5. But I still have some GTA 5 content for you guys, so don't even worry about that, man. I just got a lot more other games than GTA 5. I'm about to go ahead and record some more GTA 5 after this though. Probably record some Forza, then record another GTA 5 video and then be done. 
Slow motion, slow motion down. And I'm off the track. Okay, I'm rewinding. I can't even make these turns. Like, what? These turns right here, straight tripping. Hey, we still got first place though. That's all. That's all that matters. That's all that matters. We still got first place. Let's slow this down. There we go. We still got first place. We're gonna get this first place finish. Break. Whoa. Go, go. Come on. Now the finish line's over there, and they actually coming. See, this is why I don't do rain racing. It's because you slide off the track with ease, man. With ease. Oh, let me hit the water puddle. Oh boy, I shouldn't hit that water puddle. <laughs> Ooh. Hey, that wasn't too bad, but I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have hit that water puddle though. You definitely hydroplane real easily in Forza Six. When it rains and stuff, you hydroplane so easily. It's too easy to hydroplane really in this game, in my opinion, at least. Oh come on, they could give us more points. It don't even really matter. We got the ST, John Kuba, V12 Vantage. All right, all right. So I guess we got another event to do. That's probably why it gave us that V12 uh, Vantage and uh, that other car. It gave us two cars that are like a stepping stone up from what we're on right now. And racing news. And for special gifts to the Forza community. Go there now to unlock a unique car for your next event. Ah. Ah. Should I? Oh, it just took me out of my game. I hope that doesn't uh, interfere with my recording. We, we just going we're gonna hop back in like I didn't do that. All right. Let's see. Oh yeah, we're we're good. We're good. It's, it kept recording. We're good. I'm gonna just hop out of that. We'll we'll slide on that. I'll do that another time. It actually backed me out and everything went. Okay, no, I need this. No, 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 no. But it actually backed me out and this was the that, that's the card they were trying to give us. Oh, shoot, I, I kind of want to get that. But I got to download Forza Hub and stuff. I don't have it downloaded. Ugh. Ugh. We're going to have to chance it with the... Ah, uh, look at that. Ah, uh, rear-wheel drive, all-wheel drive, ah, uh, easy mode, ah. Uh. All right, we're going with the V12. Oh, man, the GTR would have been so easy. I should have went with it, but, you know. I ain't, I ain't all about the easy life. Yo, this looks good. This this green right here, I don't know what kind of green this is. But it looks good. I like it. This blue looks good. Okay. I might throw like, I'm. Ooh. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, we're using this. I don't even know what color this is. It's like a bronze copper type of color. I don't even know. Looks good, though. We're up to looks good, though. Race at the Yards Marine right, let's go ahead and do this next race. With track temperatures cooling after sunset, oh, shit. your tires won't provide as much grip. In order to win here, your challenge will be uh -huh. to find the limit of traction without going over it. Hmm. So how does one find the limit of traction without going over the limit of traction? Huh? How does one do it how? Hmm? We must find out right now. Nah, for real, we do, we do need to find out, like, right now. Because, uh, you know... It's kind of crazy how Forza can make racing so different like this with all these different mechanics and physics in the game that change up everything. Like, like what? Like what is the racing game right now that has day and night cycle affecting your grip on the road? I don't think there's another game out right now besides probably Project Cars and maybe uh, Gran Turismo. Those are probably the only two other games that I think will probably even think about a feature like that. But that 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 right there man that right there that, that's pretty flames that's pretty flames they thought about this all ahead of time they already knew yes marina sir abs allows you to turn the wheels under a uh, full braking but will increase your stopping distance yeah that's 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 sad that's sad man that's sad but um i, I just can't deal with that any um the the abs system i, I just hate I hate having my brakes lock up. I just can't do it. Having my brakes lock up on me, man, it's not the move, man. Why is it taking three years? Like, God, Lee, I got this loaded up on my SSD, and it took like two minutes for this you race to load up. More of a challenge. Select drive at hard difficulty, and tailor your opponent's skill to be a perfect match right. for you. Can you can you shut up so I can select it? This menu allows you to select just right, shut up so I can, drive at hard difficulty right. to provide you with exactly the level of challenge you like. Increasing the difficulty will also increase your race point score. 
Decreasing the difficulty reduces this bonus. Okay. But it will be easier to win. Okay. We're going with expert. We're raising it up. We're turning it up a notch. Y'all know how I do. Gotta have that competition. I wish it took a screenshot right there. That looks good. All right. Um, I guess we can go ahead and just start it up. Go ahead and just see what we're going to do. See what we're going to do. Oh, this thing sounds good. Another G Look at that GTR. GTR nerd. Oh, boy. I see what he's talking about with that no grip. What the? Bro, the front end of this thing just literally wanted to pull itself side to... Oh, my Jesus. My, yo, that, that frame lag that I just got right there. Look at that. Yo, I, I definitely don't have as much grip as I should. And I should have went and got that GTR. Oh, boy, look at that. Oh, okay. I can definitely control it, though. Even though we are a little bit less on the grip. Oh, okay. All right. Even though we are a little bit less on the grip side, I still can control it. And then I've been... Another thing is that I've been watching some Forza 7 gameplay lately. And, yo, that game... Oh, my God. I kind of can't wait for it, even though I'm going to be late on it. I'm going to be, like, a week late on it. A week or two late on it. Just because I have to get a whole new PC... Which will be able to play Forza 7 on PC. But I still have to get it. I haven't even gotten it yet. And then these upgrades that I got for this current PC, they're, they're just going to be passed down to whoever has this PC. But you, you know what I'm saying, though. I, I don't have, okay, I don't have the PC that I need to play Forza 7, but I will. I will next month. I will. Like, within the next two weeks, I will. Or three weeks, should I say. Because it's gonna take time for it to actually get to me and stuff. I'm thinking about buying the parts and then just building it live on live stream or something. I think that'll be fun. I gotta just do a little mobile live stream and then have you. Okay, I'm rewinding that. I do a mobile live stream and then just have you guys uh, watch me build the PCs live, you know? Because it doesn't really take me that long to build a PC. I can build a PC in like probably two hours, maybe less than that. Because I remember I built one of my old friend's uh, PCs a while back. And I remember the only issue it had was uh, it wouldn't it wouldn't boot up on the screen, and the only reason why it wouldn't boot up on the screen is because he didn't format or uh, erase the hard drive before uh, you know trying to put it into the new system. He kept his hard drive with the, the old OS system already installed on it. And for everybody that doesn't know about PCs and stuff, you you can't do that. You got to reinstall your OS system because the motherboard doesn't know that OS is installed. Only the hard drive knows. So. Well, I, I think it's something like that. I'm pretty sure that's that's the whole reason behind it. It's like the OS, the motherboard doesn't know that uh, that uh, you know the OS, the operating system is uh, installed. So um, that that was his reasoning why. I remember because we ended up going to a, like a computer store that's like down the street from my house, and they was able to fix the issue within five minutes. All they did was all they did was completely drop the. Uh, all they did was uh, completely drop the uh, hard drive. Like, Jay just didn't even... I remember he unhooked it. He didn't even do anything else because we had two hard drives in the system. And he just unhooked the one that we were trying to boot up to and then went to the second one. And it would it was asking to uh, install Windows. So it's like, wow, you goofed. You goofed. You was a noob, man. You goofed. And I just noticed, man, we're in fifth place. I'm not even going to get a podium finish. This Aston just can't keep up with these uh, LFAs, man. These V10s. Ain't no joke. Like, it ain't even got nothing to do with the grip and stuff. Like, I, I just can't keep up with these things. That's a that's a Rari right there, man. You know, Rari gang. There we go. That was actually uh, not too bad of some cornering. This is pretty bad cornering right here, though. That wasn't too bad. That, that could have been a thousand times worse. This Aston handles... Pretty good. I slowed down way too soon right there. A little bit of track cutting. See, I'm not gonna be able to pass that Rari or that Audi. We definitely should have had that um, that GTR. That GTR would have easily had us win this event. But it's like this V12 just isn't enough. We need all-wheel drive to go with it. Head ass game. And we're gonna try and uh, I don't know, man. I'm gonna try and see. We're in fifth place right now. I don't know if we'll be able to catch up to these last two dudes and be able to... Or least, well, yeah, the last two people just to try and get a podium finish. Especially since I just... Oh, just jacked that turn all the way up. My God, I was non-stop breaking. Like, look at that. You see skid marks for days. 
how fast was I going? To be breaking for that long and still not be able to make the turn? But, God. I made my e-brake. I held the e-brake for a couple seconds. And then I let off the brake. I, I probably shouldn't have let off the brake. Yo, look, you see what I'm saying about this V12? Man, how is he even... He's keeping up with me, like, so easily. This ain't even cool. This ain't even cool. I turned the difficulty up. That was a bad idea. I should should turn it back down. I want to win all my races. There we go. That, that had some elevation changes in that turn. And this right here is kind of wide. Same thing that happened the first or last lap. Just happened again. Kind of took that way too wide. We do a little bit of cutsies. Oh, oh, oh! Let me through, boy. Oh, oh, oh! I took that. I took that fourth place. I took fourth place. A little cheeky fourth place. Most definitely just cheated him out of fourth place. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can cheat this Audi out of first place, too, before we even get down there. I, I kind of highly doubt it, but we, we can try anyway. Yeah, that first place is already on the turn before we even, we're even breaking. Okay, yeah, it's, it's definitely impossible for me to do anything to that Audi, so we're just going to, we're just going to go ahead and uh, take this, uh, we're going to take this L. I might come back and do this event again, but, you know, at least I think we still get our three medals. We we should still have enough points to get our three medals. Ooh, look at that. I tell you, I know how to control these rubber drive cars. That's why I like to do rubber drive instead. But there we go, man. Uh, new badge unlock. All right. Look at that. My phone is now unlockable. Oh. It took this whole video for me to go ahead and install Windows, I mean, uh, iOS 10. Uh, iOS 11. I said iOS 10. What? Go ahead and sign into my iTunes account. I think that's my password. That might not be it. But there we go. We did get three medals. You've earned a new driver level. Yeah, my password was wrong. Okay. All right, so we got the Genesis M235i California T. That California T is what we just raced against. So thanks for playing. Enjoying Forza Motorsport 6 Apex? Yes, I am in. Man, stop making me leave my game. But they didn't let me, they didn't make me leave my game again. Trying to make me do some other joint. All right, it's post race right here. Let's go ahead and continue. We're going to hop on out of here. So, with that being said, man, hopefully you guys did enjoy this episode of the Forza Motorsport 6 Apex uh, Let's Play. If you guys did, make sure you guys drop a like down below. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Make sure you guys turn on those post notifications so you'll be notified when your boy goes live or when I post a video. As well as follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter as well, man. As well. And I will catch you guys in the next live stream. Peace on out. Or video. Peace on out.